Somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. I say, somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. And if you ain't got a neighbor, look at yourself and say, she finna bring it to fuck a night. Oh, we gonna jump right into it, because that's how we do it over here. I want to thank everybody for being so patient with me. Ancestors wanted me to come back and uh, do this video like this so y'all can actually get what I'm talking about. I promise you I will be going live on the next video. But I want y'all to pay attention to fuck a good night. Is that all right? It's going to too long. Now when we look today, we see all these rappers dying out of nowhere. Every time we turn around, Somebody in this music industry, they end up losing their lives. And when you look, who are they killing? That's right, I want to ask you that question. Who are they taking up out of here? That's right. Black men and black boys. Black girls and black women. But I want us to look deeper down the rabbit hole. Because I want us tonight to see what's really going on. It was a movie that came out called The Purge. Some of y'all may have heard of that movie, The Purge. I want y'all to know that movie The Purge was based on actual events that, that, that went on that people may not have been aware of. I said that movie was based on actual events. In other words, it happened for real. And it happened in a different type of way. Now for some of y'all who, who ain't saw the movie, The Purge, I'm going to give you a brief description of this movie right here. I'm going to break it down just a little bit. And then when you have some time, you can go check it out for yourself. The movie took place in America. It was a whole lot of crimes being committed in America. All types of things going on. And it was also overcrowded prisons. Okay? They said we got so many people committing crimes and we ain't got nowhere to put these motherfuckers. Can I be real to motherfucker? Good night. So the government, in this movie, The Purge, the government sanctioned an annual 12 hour period where all criminal activity, including murder, and all types of things was legal. Okay? I said murder, crime, and all types of things became legal. This is what went on in this movie, The Purge. So in other words, people were able to kill each other. They ain't like each other. Had some beef with each other. They was able to take each other up out of here. Said able to kill who they fucking wanted and get away with it. And there would be no arrests made. This is what went on in this movie, The Purge. Now, as I told you before, the movie Pur The Purge was inspired by actual events. Actual events that took place in history. I'm going somewhere with this tonight, y'all. I want you to listen to me closely. Listen to me closely. Come on and let's do it. Come on, let's do it. During the time of the Roman pagans, the Roman pagans celebrated a festival called Saturnalia. Saturnalia, Saturnalia is known as being a weekly period of lawliness, allowing citizens to do what the fucker they wanted to do. Anything that they wanted to do, they was able to do it. If I wanted to rob you, motherfucker, I was able to do that. If I was able to kill your child on this day, in between this time, I was able to do that. Between December the 17th through the 25th, 
Don't let me throw you off. That is the correct date. And I'm going to come back and break it down. That is the correct date. December 17th through the 25th. Okay? I said, don't come back telling me this is the wrong date. I'm going to break it down later. Don't let, me, don't let me lose you. So these people were able to do what they wanted to do between December the 17th through the 25th. Sound familiar? Yeah. Christmas time, the 25th. And between this time... Folks was getting intoxicated. These motherfuckers was out. They was acting out their, their desires without any fear of retribution. And at this time, between December the 17th through the 25th, vandalism, violence, rape, and murder filled the motherfucking land. Somebody say, so, so, madam, why would they want to do something like that? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why would they want to do something like that? Why would they allow that to happen? Well, when you overstand the mind of these beasts, you overstand the fucker, they ways, and how they do shit. To and it was recorded, y'all. I said, and it was recorded that the Roman pagans... They allowed this behavior to happen, the raping, violence, and crime, and things like that. They did this because they said they wanted to show the masses of the people, the masses, okay? All the people, the people of the world, how life would be without the rule of a motherfucking law, police, the court, and shit. At this time between December 20, the 17th through the 25th, the Roman courts was closed. Couldn't nobody go to the motherfucking courts. You couldn't file no motherfucker complaints about nothing. Ain't no police there, nothing. Everything was closed. The courts was closed. Between December the 17th through the 25th, y'all. I said the Roman courts was closed. Go look it up. This is, this is history. This is real life shit. -tica. They closed down the motherfucking courts. Meaning that either you took part in Saturnalia festivals, that Christmas shit, or you was just left on your own to protect your motherfucking self and your family. Listen to me, y'all. I want us to, let's go a little bit deeper, just a little bit deeper down this rabbit hole, okay? One of the customs of Saturnalia was they had choose a victim to be pushed to the brink of overdulgence. What does that mean? Meaning to get someone so drunk, okay, doing so much drugs and, you know, to overindulge in drugs and drinking and sex and things of, of that nature, to be intoxicated. How they laid down the setup was, listen to me, they would choose their victim and they would title this person, this victim, the Lord of Misrule. This is what they called the person that they chose for this night to, to, to get drunk and do things too. Listen to me close. They called this person the victim. They called this person the Lord of Misrule. And they would force this person to indulge in food, in sensual and sexual pleasures. Okay. They'll feed the motherfucker, he'll eat good, and then they'll, they'll bring out type of woman towards this motherfucker so he can indulge in drinking. And, and if he ain't drink, I'll give him some, some type of drugs and then some sexual pleasures. And they did this throughout the week. They did this to this person throughout the week. And then on December 25th, they would kill this lord of misrule, this victim, this person that they chose. They would blood sacrifice them. And it was also recorded. Listen to me close. I said, I'm breaking it down tonight. Breaking it down. I want you to stay with me. And you can look these things up later. It was also recorded that these blood sacrifices, they were made because the Romans felt when they were, were making these blood sacrifices, they said that they were extinguishing the forces of darkness. What does that mean, so-so, madam? In other words, they was just killing niggas 
okay, because of their skin colors and different things that we represent because of our skin colors and what we represented. And they viewed our people as being forces of darkness just because of our, our, our skin color and the, the power that we possessed. Okay, I'm telling you that right there, go deeper. Your melanin, things of that nature. Okay, catch that on fleek. It goes deeper. So I said all that to say this right here, y'all. I said, I said all that to say this right here. It's the same game. They just switched it up a little bit. Different players. Same game, different motherfucking players, y'all. Just switched up the game a little bit. And ancestors wanted me to reveal this tonight. Saturn Tenalia. Saturn Tenalia is related to and goes hand in hand with the blood sacrifices that's going on in the motherfucking industry. We call the industry the what? The game. Okay. As I told you before, the PTB, they speak to us through signs and symbols. That's how they speak to us and other things as well. But some people missed it and they don't, they don't believe that people, you know, can speak through a sign or a symbol. We do it all the time. If I throw a gun up in front of your motherfucking face and I flash it and I keep flashing it, then you know, motherfucker, I'm wanting to shoot your motherfucking ass. I said they speak to us through the signs and symbols and other things as well. In certain signs and symbols we grew up on. I said we grew up on, but we didn't even understand what those signs and those symbols really meant. For example, the motherfucker a gingerbread man. And then they also got a story about the gingerbread girl. Same motherfucking thing. The gingerbread man. I want y'all to go watch that story for yourself. It's okay. Go back to your childhood, motherfucker. Go watch that movie again. I meant that little, you know, the little cartoon of it again. And really look at it this time. Watch it for yourself. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to break down what that story really motherfucker meant. The gingerbread man story. Okay, the original story. What it really meant. Check it out. The gingerbread man story represents blood sacrifice, y'all. It represents blood sacrifice. That's what it means. That's what it really represents. I want you to listen to this. Elizabeth the first. Elizabeth the first. She had gingerbread cookies made of her most important guests. Okay? So she would make cookies of these high people who were very important, well-known type of people. Elizabeth the first, y'all. And some people, they ate their own gingerbread cookie. And then some people, they ate other people's gingerbread motherfucking cookie. When somebody ate somebody else's gingerbread cookie, what did that mean? I said, I'm breaking things down. Ancestors done gave me things and I'm giving it to you. When somebody ate somebody else's gingerbread cookie, that meant that that was going to be the one that they was going to sacrifice. Get the fuck up out of here, blood sacrifice. Read between the lines and check out the link in the description. I'm going to put this link down there. I want y'all to go check it out and read it for yourself. Ancestors just gave me more things so we can go deeper so you can really see what the fucker is going on. So I'm showing y'all. Showing y'all how they do this shit. To but that motherfucker, little gingerbread man. That's what it really was, was made to represent. And they turned it into a motherfucking childhood story. Blood sacrifices been going on, y'all. They been going on. They just, you know, brought that shitter to the, to the music industry. They just brought it to the music industry and shit. To the entertainment industry. In other places as well. That's why we got to be able to what? Huh? Watch the motherfucking board. Huh? Watch the board. Somebody look at your neighbor and yourself and say, watch the board. If you ain't got no neighbor, look at your fucking self. How do you look at your fucking self? Bitch, look into your inner self and look at yourself and tell your inner self what the fuck you need to be doing. Catch that shit. 
Huh. Like I done told you. Music industry. Huh. The music industry. The entertainment industry. It ain't shit to, but Saturn to Nalia. Being played out right in front of our motherfucking faces. They got these, these entertainers. Listen to me close. They got these entertainers. And they treat them like, like queens and motherfucking kings. The queens of comedy. Kings of comedy. Okay? Treat them like kings and motherfucking queens. Get them motherfuckers boatloads of, of jewelry. Get them bundles of motherfucking money. Big houses and, 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 and all type of cars and everything else. All the women that they can handle. They have award, so, uh, uh, award shows and ceremonies for these motherfuckers dedicated to this certain person or these people. Or something, you know, something, something of that type. An interview or something, a big large interview for these motherfuckers. They throw a party for this motherfucker. Or get together for this person. And they end up blood sacrificing that person. Huh. Okay. Give them all this money. Make them think, oh yeah, y'all celebrity. Y'all really so motherfucking special. And then end up sacrificing their motherfucking ass. Everybody else is aware that this motherfucker gonna be sacrificed. So everybody at the motherfucking party know that this motherfucker gonna be blood sacrificed. But the motherfucker that's being sacrificed. Because it's all motherfucking set the fuck up. You better hear what I'm saying to you tonight. Now I want you to look at, at the date that I told you the Roman Saturnalia took place. Okay? And this is the correct date. I'm telling you. Don't tell me, oh, well it said this. No. Look at the link that I'm giving you. Ancestors is speaking. Between December 17th through December 25th. Let's see what, what we get out of those numbers. One minus seven equal what? It said through the, the 17th through the 25th. One minus seven equal what? Six. And two minus five equal what? Three. When you put it together, what do we see? The three, six murder by motherfucking numbers. So we see where this motherfucker Kashita really started. The motherfucker Saturn Tenalia. Okay. Say shit, this shit been going the fuck on. We just now being able to pay attention. And don't tell me I got these motherfucking numbers wrong. I said look at the motherfucking link under this video. I'm talking to them smart motherfuckers. Okay? Ancestors already cleared me on this. And said I want you to bring it just like this and let them see what's really going on. The rabbit hole go deeper on this. I promise you. When I give y'all things like this, I promise you I can go deeper. But you should be able to get the point of things. I will be coming back live for show, for real. Okay? But when ancestors tell me to do something, look, I got to do it. I got to do it. And I had to do this video. So y'all can kind of get an idea on where this started, you know, on, and, and exactly what's really going on. What's going on in the motherfucking game, y'all? I was going to say this, and I said I'm going to wait. I'm going to just wait to, to bring it when I go live. I wasn't even going to say nothing. Okay, I wasn't going to say nothing, but Lil Mo, I call him Lil Mo, Mo 3, came through, Kanika came through, King Vine came through. I got to get his message to y'all, okay? It's something that I, I got to tell y'all. Y'all be good, and I will be live, and I love you all, I promise you. Just be patient, and just know, when ancestors tell me to speak, I don't sell my speak, and if they tell me no, wait, and bring it like this, that's what I got to do. But I'm clear, y'all. Ancestors said, okay, we can go on live. We could go on live, but this had to come out this way. I had to break it down this way. So now we can understand what's really fucking going on in the motherfucking game, y'all. They taking out Saturn Tenelia on our motherfucking people. <laughs> and it's turning the fuck up. I done told y'all. I ain't got to repeat it. Y'all be good.